In this video we look at the composition of fats and oils. Fats and oils are made up of triglycerides. Triglycerides are formed in a condensation reaction between a glycerol backbone and three fatty acids. So here's the structure of glycerol or the IUPAC name is propane-1,2,3-triol. As you can see it has three alcohol groups. Here's an example of a fatty acid. Fatty acids have a long hydrocarbon chain and a carboxyl group at one end. A carboxyl group is a C, double bond O and a single bond to an OH. Next we'll have a look at the condensation reaction between glycerol and three fatty acids. So here we have a molecule of glycerol and here we have three fatty acids. They will combine in a condensation reaction. So the OH on the glycerol and the H on the fatty acid, they'll combine releasing three molecules of water. So here we have our triglyceride and the three molecules of water that are released in the condensation reactions. So the overall equation is glycerol plus three fatty acids forms a triglyceride plus three H2O. And that's called a condensation reaction. And when we have a condensation reaction between glycerol and a fatty acid, we form what's called an ester link, which is outlined in red here. Next, I'm going to go through how to make up a triglyceride from one molecule of glycerol, which we have on the left here, and three fatty acids. Now, the fatty acid I've chosen is steric acid, and this is the formula for steric acid. You can get this from the data booklet. One important point is you must have three molecules of steric acid because a triglyceride is formed from a glycerol backbone and three fatty acids. So next I'm going to draw the triglyceride. So I start with the glycerol backbone, which is here. And I'm going to go to an oxygen here. Now what happens, this end of the steric acid forms a condensation reaction with the uh, glycerol molecule. So you have to represent that like this. And there's three molecules reacting with the glycerol backbone. So you have to have a carbon to oxygen to carbon. And this carbon will have a double bond to an oxygen. And then basically we've taken care of this part, the COOH. Then we have to look at the next part. So we're going to put brackets. And you can use condensed structural formula here. So that's going to be 16. And the end we here we've got CH3. So we're going to add a CH3 on the end. And we have to do that for each of the three fatty acids that we've added. So here's the final one. And the last thing we must do is, because it's a condensation reaction, we're losing a molecule of water for each one of these fatty acid that bonds with the glycerol backbone. So we finish off with a 3H2O. And the final point here in red, I've outlined the ester link which forms between the glycerol backbone and the fatty acid. 